You are listening to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church. My name is Kim Ness, and I'm the office manager here at Peakland. My grandmother spent more than 30 years as the secretary of the largest Southern Baptist Church in my hometown of Manassas. The preacher she worked alongside for most of that tenure was Dr. Edward Bratcher. He was the son of Southern Baptist missionaries and spent much of his childhood in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Dr. Bratcher had a passion for the mission field, and even though he spent his career as a church preacher, he still took the time out of his busy ministry to go on mission trips every year. This elephant was a gift to my grandmother when he returned from one of his trips. This trip was to South Africa, and that was during the time of apartheid. This elephant is hand-carved and made out of African ebony. My grandmother had this elephant on the third shelf of her bookcase in her living room when I was growing up. I remember seeing it and playing with it, and I marveled at how cool it looked. Isn't it amazing how this particular piece of ebony appears? Most people believe ebony is a completely dark wood, but in reality, the wood between the ebony center and the bark is actually tan in color, like on the elephant. When the ebony is to be used to create something, most of the time the bark and the tan layer are removed and the center is bored out and only the dark wood will remain. They remove the unpleasant, unwanted, imperfect part of the wood to allow only the best part of the ebony to be used. However, that's not how life works. These cool things I saw as a child look so much different and have so much more meaning as I look at them through my adult eyes. Looking at this elephant now reminds me of a few things. The first is that it is a depiction of the world. All colors, races, ideas, genders, sexuality, etc. make up one world. We can't cut out the unpleasant, unwanted, and imperfect part or the stuff that makes us uncomfortable because that's not how God created the world. It also reminds me of Holy Communion. During the service of word and table, Pastor John has said these words, because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. This simple yet intricate elephant is one piece comprised of different rings. It was made by a human hand out of God's own creation. It has its flaws, just like we all do, but I see the beauty in just its creation. The care and skill it takes to make something like this by hand. And just like partaking in communion, we have one table for everybody, one Christ for everyone, one piece of ebony to make many wooden figures. Just like the hands that created this elephant from an idea in their mind, I want to be a special creation molded from God. From the message translation of Jeremiah 29 11, I know what I'm doing. I have it all planned out. Plans to take care of you, not abandon you. Plans to give you the future you hope for.